There we go. Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today along with... Here's a mighty Lieutenant Drakir at your service. And welcome back for the sixth time, I believe. Uh, let me ch double check uh, stream info. Uh, yeah, sixth time to Blast Brigade versus the Evil Legion of Dr. Freed. And hello in chat, Pizza. How are you doing today? Uh, doing pretty decent myself. <clears throat> hello, Pizza. Uh, decent, yes. Not 100%. Basically, I feel a bit so so, but otherwise, well. Okay. Uh, off screen. Hmm. Off screen. I, I did explore around a bit more. Uh, I have found every area in the Screaming Cliffs now. And yeah. The Great Tangle is now 100% explored. Uh, I have recorded all of that. And I will put that all together into a video for, well, for YouTube after we're done with this. Hmm. <clears throat> And I actually ran into a side quest up here. Apparently, there is a <laughs> apparently there's a French spy agency called FCC, the French Counter Culinary <laughs> Count Col yeah, French uh, Culinary Counter Intelligence, and apparently they want something of creeds. <laughs> okay. I do not. Maybe I would not be surprised at all. For now, though. Let's head over to the new area, the Drowned City. Yeah, and as he has us written or something? Oh. Yeah, let's see. Where was it from again? Toxic Ducks? Mm -hmm. yeah, oh, pizza! Oh, good one. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, in a lot of pain. What? What's up then? Did you fall or something? Or. Uh, let me double check there. Hmm. <clears throat> Wrong button. Tommy crumbs, maybe? <laughs> Ow. There. Much better. Just double jump. Okay, yeah. Last time we got to... Last time we got to the Drowned City, but we... Since we didn't have a save spot right at the start of it, we had to, well, go back. We also got our hands on this little rocket launcher, which does a good amount of damage. Plus, it homes in on the fuckers, similar to how their shots track in on us. Uh, let's see. Uh, well, I accidentally ate cheese, which made me have cramps, and uh, I had the set cramp yesterday, and it still hurts a lot whenever I walk or move my leg. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm surprised, surprised I guessed right on that one. Okay. But yeah, stomach cramps and headaches is kind of usually pain you can get without having an accident. Uh, hmm, I'm actually drawing a bit of a blank on where we actually connected to that. Um, hmm. I probably should have moved back to where we did connect to that. Well, well, guess we get to find out, or try to find out where the heck that was. Wasn't it somewhere... Actually, yeah, I think it was over there. So we need to go over to the Mac Yards. Okay. My mistake, since I thought, well, closest to it would be the closest way to get to it. But we can just use the elevator in the next room to get there. Let's see. Well, it's more of a leg cramp, more specifically the calf muscle. Okay. Oh. Wait, you got that from eating cheese. You sure it's not a muscle pulled or something? Yeah. Like... Go. Oh, wait. Lactose in... I thought lactose into the only thing that belly. Yeah, I think it's only supposed to affect... Yeah, the stomach and such. But I might be wrong on that. Yeah, otherwise it's something like you might have a... Uh, strain your leg or something? Yep. 
Oh, for normal. Yes, I am just rushing through. Which hopefully won't bite me too much in the ass. Okay, let's just see. Give me a sec. Yeah, that's what I'll react to. Fuck off. There you go. Okay, so you can affect the leg muscles and all that. All right. Did not know that. Okay. I don't know. I had cramps in my legs. Is from laughing too much. Yeah, usually whenever I get leg cramps, it's more from, uh, uh, yeah, in the morning and such. Okay. Yeah. I haven't had cramps in a damn while, long, long time now. Or was it, uh, you did love so much I could get cramps in the leg? Or a most annoying place in my. Uh, under my jaw, if that makes sense. Okay, that's a new one. Yeah, I, I never got, got why I would get a cramp there, and it does force my head to look up. Awkwardly until it comes down. Uh, again, love. Loving is good, but it does get annoying when you actually get crammed from it. Let's see. But yeah. Still, I'm surprised the lactose interest will affect the one's limbs. Okay, uh, let's see. Hmm. Would it be faster to go up from here or to go there and down from there? I th There's less rooms. So let's try heading over there now. May okay. also depend on what kind of rooms it is. Yeah. And the enemies in it and such. It's just this bastard. And yeah, I'm still pretty damn sure that they're just a reference to a minion from Mega Minds. So I could have just gone down from the other room. Huh. I just posted it. Here again, I know way too little about the Lactus Intolerance. Are they surprised, be surprised that, the, that some things you find with, the others you have an instant reaction with? Oh, this is off to a fine start. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Well, it is most likely because of cheese and milk. Uh, on, be, yeah, because I only get cramps after I've eaten anything with milk, and I haven't had any other cheese than mozzarella and gouda for 10 plus months. And really, the cheese other than mozzarella and gouda, and boom, I got a cramp. It also uh, am. Uh, it also can, I'm pretty sure, affect any part of the leg, but mine happened to be the calf muscle. Okay. Uh, okay, there's actually something I actually just <laughs> I forgot. I found the, f the last flower. So uh, Wait, right? Oh, right there. We need to go up. When we get to a, a fast travel point, we can head back to the, the, to the base and upgrade our flash to have three uses. Which will help a lot. Yeah. And we'll able to, yeah, then we'll be able to heal for nine hearts instead of six, or twelve if we use the plus one heart but longer duration module. Okay. Yeah. The only thing we maybe need also is to uh, upgrade the drinking speed. Uh, let's see. Mine isn't uh, instant, really. The cramps usually appear one or two hours after the dairy product has been consumed. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't make sense, since uh, it will probably take a while. So, if some food, uh, if one uh, can't handle it, it can be rather instantaneous. <clears throat> well, times it will take a bit before it kicks in. Yeah.
Okay, those jetpack guys are going to be a nuisance, I can already tell. First off, we need to get back over to the uh, dive to the yeah, submarine bay over there. But well, let's just say that <laughs> Jeff's flight ability has been a major help in just getting around a lot. As a secret room. Now we already picked up what's in there. All right. Yeah, let's see. Pizza. Also, from this article, I've pulled up the stomach and digestive problems you are saying aren't the only one. They just happen to be more common ones. Okay. All right. Hmm. Vortex. This is it not risk? Uh, right. Yeah, yeah. We saw, we we had that bit before. I do like we can uh, we can do that again in case of you find something off stream. Then we can return to show with the later. Yeah. And not so much for the side quest that I found earlier, but yeah, there wasn't really too much to that. Just had to go find and scare off a bunch of birds in the streaming cliffs. Oh. Oh, say pizza, and good luck on your stream. See you next time, pizza. And I hope you'll get better soon. There. Okay, all of these hover guys are going to be an absolute pain in the neck. There's another one. Okay. Actually... Just to be absolutely freaking sure that they're gone. Okay. Now I just need to make my way over to the hammock without getting hit. Oh, I just saw you. I almost health. got hit by damn stupid thing. That, that, that damn stupid thing. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, as much as I like that this game isn't too easy, it can still be really annoying at times. Okay. There. Okay. Just one room over. Uh, yeah, I, I still will remain with just my one biggest complaint that we don't have a way to just permanently upgrade the, the weapon's damage. Like, we do have the 20% more damage module now, but the amount of damage that the enemies deal compared to what we can dish... Or not, the amount of damage that they can take compared to how much we can dish out is just growing more and more... Yeah, disappro more and more apart. Yeah. And I do yeah. It's there needs to be a difficulty curve, yes of course. But it would be nice if we could dispatch weaker enemies more yeah, quickly. Or when we need to go back through older areas and such. Like in general we can just still gun down a bunch of the starter ones real fast. But anything past that still needs a good amount of shots to get rid of. Okay. Now here we are. Let's have ourselves a look around. Yeah, this is basically Atlantis, so... Uh, that's probably that, right? Hmm? The note you passed? 
Have you read it? Yes. All it's right. already noted that. I do hope we find... If, I do hope we find a hammock decently soon. Because otherwise we need to backtrack all the way from this... From the mech yard. So, shortcuts. Okay. I'm still curious just how long... If, oh, that's easy enough. Yeah. There. Let's see, we have 82% world progress. And that is with two areas 100%. The Tangle, the Icy Hollow. Fuel Station is mostly explored. Uh, same for the Volcano Mech Yard. And the it, Cliffs. The Fortress is very... Unexplored, yeah. A lot yeah. unexplored still. Yeah, I, I'm thinking... I'm thinking we won't have a fast travel point here in the Drowned City, perhaps. Or, though there is still room on the fast travel menu for one. Maybe it's just through some other means other than the uh, motorcycles. Even though we got an achievement for supposedly all the fast travel points. We'll have to see. But yeah, I think after this area, we are going into the fortress and just <laughs> going straight after Creed. Uh, okay, I need to look at that again. Just look at this statue here. Yeah, I saw that one as well. I feel like we both reacted to it at the same time. It looks like it has a big freaking beard because of the <laughs> moss and such. What's well, this? The Sky Shard. Its song grows louder. Yes, this is working. Oop. Okay, bit of a dick move to throw us into one of these without a hammock first. Because that does mean... It, ow. Wait, wait, that does two damage now? Screw this. If we fall here... Then we need to backtrack all the way from the mech yard. Uh... And the last one of Foster Points, we can go and get the other upgrades. I'm just going to use this thing. Good. Uh. Okay, I'm, I'm fully calling that a dick move for putting one of those. Yeah, it's not too far away, but still an annoying that we have to go all the way back from there. Yeah. And it was a good game, but there are some places that feel like there was not fought through. Yeah. Okay, I could have used the laser there, but well, I was a bit busy trying to dodge everything. And yes, I still had one heal left, but again, I was a bit busy trying to survive. Yeah. Because I feel like uh, people sometimes forget that. Oh, the Cooper used, used a special move, but it's not always easy to do it when on the fire. Yeah. Like, it's kind okay. of pointless uh, to do the special move if it means instant death. Before you can pull it off. Okay. Another reason why I'll, I'll probably never really stream something like Dark Souls and such because you always get you you'll eventually end up with one of those tryhards in chat that just says do, just do this one millisecond after that and such. Okay. I forgot that this one boosts the damage of others. 
So that is how that one shot did two damage. Yeah, basically they are high priority targets. Here we go. Okay, did not mean to do that. Had harder fights, but this one is just annoying. There, get rid of the spawner. Yep. We were that close to beating it. Yep. And of, of course, course, they had put this right after. How about putting that? Before, the, I feel like we have had moments with the hammer was after the boss fight, or not the boss fight, but... And, yeah, still after annoying parts that would have had us backtrack a lot. The great sky shard! Creed has defiled it so! How dare he! Alright kid, save that anger for the man himself. What do we need to do? Creed is corrupting the shard's energy, then siphoning the energy to power his citadel's defenses. To siphon such power, Creed would need to secure the shard. It would not take such abuse without fighting back. Wait, so it has a mind of its own? Anchor points, then. Creed has secured the shard at several points around the Drowned City. Destroy the anchors and the sky shard is free. Come on, then, lads and lasses. Yes. <laughs> Okay, that's one point. I thought that was going to be like the uh, the final button for it. Okay. That can be entered from the other side somewhere. We'll have to see where for now. Yeah, the, actually fish in the background. Okay. This looks like a bit for, well, our all too American hero. <laughs> too American even for the eagle to carry around. Yep. Okay, I did not see this. <laughs> I did not see the shooter bits in the walls here. Come on, me, so, so, what's me, What's of you, uh, YouTube's react to some memes? And uh, the pictures being sent, and uh, someone I thought was a little bit rude. No, oh. this is going uh, to be another fight. Oh. Uh, right, this way. It's a uh, it's a bridge, and in one leg it says uh, maximum ten people may cross it at one time, uh, at the same time that is. Yeah. However, under it, it says in English, three Americans at one time may cross it. Okay. That's that the right anchor, so we... One more time. I think we can agree. That was an old list of it's sick, we can kind of rude. Yeah. yeah. America does have quite the obesity problem, but that is basically everywhere in the world at the moment. Or at least most places. Yeah. Oh dear. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to try using my sub weapons and the special weapons besides Shura's more. Oh, focus those things down.
Get that ah. getting hidden by a rocket in slow motion. Okay. Yeah. It looks like we'll have to fight over each and every one of these anchor points. Oop. Hello? That one was more than obvious. Oh, hello! Another one of these, so another module that we can use at the same time. Finally! Okay. Or, okay, no. It's... <clears throat> I was misunderstanding it. We just he need to hit the button to turn up to fully turn off the anchor or something. Yep. Hello. Ancient carving, the perfection. O sky shard, the, the gift giver, the child of heaven, god of Atlantis. We kneel before your celestial glory and offer our love and gratitude for your grace and affection. Okay. Yeah, that, that reminds me, actually, of something with uh, Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. Uh, apparently there was a novel of some sort made of the game as well, which went into more detail about things, which basically revealed that... Uh... Oh, okay, this is going to turn back off again. It basically revealed that uh, the Atlantean tech came from aliens, but it wasn't the Atlanteans themselves who uh, knew how to fully work. It's basically all of Atlantis was a cargo cult for a bunch of aliens. <laughs> Trying to figure out how the stuff works and getting some of it, but definitely not all of it. Oh dear. I'm impressive with what they were able to do. Yeah. Okay. Heal up. That should do it, huh? Nah, my friend. Hell freaking die. <laughs> Let's get back to the shark. Bit strange that those bits aren't voiced. Uh oh. Yep. Again. I do recognize the voice actors, so we'd not be surprised if a lot of the budget went to paying the voice actors. There we go. Okay, I probably should be using... <laughs> I probably should be using Vortex's special with that a lot more. Because, well, for one, it seeks them out and it deals a ton of damage. Now I'm kind of curious, what is Galahad's uh, special combat move? It's the stomp. Oh, damn it. Okay, there is something above here. But, yeah, only two hearts left. It's not, actually, it's not too far back. So let's take a bit of a look here. I saw, yeah, a grapple point. Okay. Can't. It's. Yeah, I think we need to swap to Shura quickly. Yep. And I hit the wrong button. Okay. Jeff. Dan Galahad. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Vortex. There we go. Okay, and what are we going to find here? There. Oh. There. Okay, this is going to be risky. Jump switch. There we go. Oh, it's another one of these. Another Azure Battle Core. Uh, let's see. Two more and we get this thing. Which I hope is actually going to be... Well, better than the other weapons. Oop. I almost fall yeah, into this freaking 
weeds or whatever those are. I told me if Root that uh, the real good weapons are the ones we unlock in that manner. But they probably wanna. I guess they would want them to feel very special and powerful. Yep. But if they are not, then why have all that work to get them? Okay. Yeah. I, overall, this game is still really good, but it is. <laughs> I'm not sure if you could call it inexperience, or maybe they just have to rush towards the end, but yeah, some frayed ends are visible here and there. Now let's let let's release this giant jawbreaker. Don't eat it. The sky shard speaks. It is grateful. My friends, we have done it. Oh, Papa. Uh, actually, actually we didn't do much of anything. Much of anything. Saving this big Saving crystal this big thing, crystal. that was all the work of the Holy the Sentinel. Holy Sentinel. Right, guys? right, guys? I could barely I could move a barely finger, move two in all of your raw power. While I am still confident I could defeat you in combat, I could not have done what you did here today. <laughs> of course, Shura. I do not understand. It's best we make it proper official, like, eh? <coughs> on behalf of Her Majesty. Wait, I mean on behalf of the Atlantean Majesty, the Ocean Queen. I hereby bequeath you with the title of Holy Sentinel. That was not the real ceremony, I know this. But I will remember it for the rest of my life. Thank you. Woo! Congrats, kid. Now let's go to Creed's fortress and end this once and for all. Okay, just... Just uh, restoring some of her confidence. Oop. Posse done. Disable the Atlantean Corps and rendezvous with O'Hara. Uh, we haven't met with... We haven't seen O'Hara in the... Yet, so that achievement was a bit early and... Okay, that's all. And then that's... Not even any extra secrets here, apparently? Okay. What? I was expecting there to be a bit more than that of the city, but it also explained where where there's no new uh, fastball points. <clears throat> and, okay, looks like we might be able to finish the game if we manage to yeah. get to Creed in time. We probably should force travel to the base and get as much open as we can. Yeah. Probably the best way is to just go back to back to where I first went. Then, in the toxic ducts. Let's see. Maybe we can find some extras along the way. No time for you, Roly Poly. Okay. There and there. Hmm. There we go. Okay, there's still plenty of stuff to be found around. Like, at least eight uh, heart pieces. And let's see, two more battery fragments. We Probably have a bunch more kits. kits. Yeah, we should, do, we should spend those as well. Okay. For now, let's just make our way back. One over. Mm, yes. <clears throat> mm. I personally would have liked it if there were a few more fast level points around. Like the tank, the Great Tangle has two all its own, but it's, it's probably also maybe not the biggest, but one of the biggest areas. Would have been nice if some of the bigger ones also had two travel points, but that may have gotten a bit too much, perhaps. Hmm. Oh, yeah, this thing is still here. Uh, wait, can we actually... Yes, we can get out of here and down below. Hmm. 
I hope that the inner sanctum, I hope that Creed's inner sanctum doesn't prove to be as annoying as the toxic ducts. Then again, we've we've had repeated warnings that even they consider this place too dangerous. So, y yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe not Creed himself, but management at the absolute least. Could go. Oh yeah, let let's let's go upwards. Then at least we can. Have, mm. I say. Yeah, I say you fast travel. Yeah, both Just ways lead towards them, you know, towards fast travel point. But probably best to try and get to this one first. Yeah, that's not Though a clean this portal tool. No. That's not Rick and Morty's uh, travel, uh, goo travel stuff. Oh, right, I have one of those. Hmm. Okay. One thing with Rick and Morty is from what, yeah, from what I've heard and all, it is in general a, a good show, in some areas even a great show. But, yeah, to my knowledge, it goes towards gross-out stuff and such too often for that for me to really find it enjoyable most of the time. Yeah, like I found I found the first scenes and all that damn good. Even they had some gross-out moments. I thought it was a bit too much. But I had a lot of fun. But it does seem like they lean even more heavily on the gross-out stuff ever since they became part of HBO. Hmm. This uh, makes me not want to watch the other seasons if they double down on it instead. Yeah, I'm not sure if double down with it. I do know that the story gets pretty good, but still. Oh, yeah. Not alive. Okay, I get the feeling that we accidentally got uh, some chatter before we were supposed to have it. Okay. One more of these. Uh, we'll not be surprised. Okay. And the final upgrade here. There we go. <laughs> Jugger nogged. <laughs> upgrade the healing class three times. Oh dear. Actually, let's check if the uh, for the mod one as uh, well if there's any more info. And the what? The mod will upgrade thing. So we know if there's any more upgrades uh, to find for it. Uh, yeah. A golden one, which I'm presuming is going to be somewhere in Creed's fortress. Hmm. Unless it's unless it's hidden somewhere here. I managed to find basically everything else in the sea in the lagoon. Uh, wait, there's still something to be found here in the village. That doesn't seem right. Or oh, it must it must count the upgrades as well. I'm thinking, but yeah, I found everything else in the lagoon, but there's just something here that eludes me. And I don't want to look up uh, <clears throat> I don't want to look up uh, a guide or something that shows where everything is. Uh, welcome back, pizza! Uh, let's see, pizza, well, I gotta order things, so I pause stream and I'm here now. Okay. Uh, gotta order what? Food or such, or... <laughs> uh... Hold on. There... Hmm. Is, is there anywhere else that we can use the kits here? We've cleared up here. We've cleared up on the other side. Could it be that the shop... Yeah. <clears throat> Could it be that Von Armas' shop has one more upgrade to go after this? Also this here. Two more rune stones before we can get that. That's... Hmm. Okay, I'm guessing that we... If we find... I'm guessing we can find the outfit somewhere in the world. For the others as well. Hmm. Yeah, there's also the area on the left that we'd opened. So I'm guessing there's going to be one more upgrade here. Or not. Okay. Dirty gun, blast a 
a blaster canopy with bouncing projectiles. Okay, so basically one of the toxic soldiers is the stuff. Oh, and come there's on. another one. Piss off. Okay, that came at the same time. I re reacted first to we missing just 50 coins to buy the dirty gun. And then that damn thing appeared in the chat. I think I'll and actually go for this. or I would go for that if we had three more. <clears throat> and yeah, Twitch really needs to do something about that bot problem. Just IP ban you know, those who... Uh, IP ban where they're coming from or something. That will probably shut down an, a bot farm or two. Okay, but where can we use the other kits then? Hmm. We already opened that up. Hmm. Let's, let's check in with everyone. Uh, how did you end up... <clears throat> how did you end up working for the KGB? How did you end up working for Blast? Well, ever since I was a little tyke. That was a rhetorical question. I don't really care. <laughs> It suit yourself. So, uh, did you, like, volunteer to be in the KGB? I can tell you, but then I'll have to kill you. <laughs> Good one. You're not serious, right? As serious as a heart attack. <laughs> oh, the funny dear. thing is, I, I think she might actually be fucking with him with that. <laughs> oh, so dear. Yep, she is Russian. Uh, pizza, pizza, food, and groceries. Okay. <clears throat> are you getting? Are you getting used to your new circumstances? You mean this half metal body? A bit. Although unseemly, it has its uses. Enhanced strength, inhuman endurance, magnetic propulsion. It almost makes me forgot we I lost. Any bugs in the system? Nay, not at all. Although sometimes I do wish I could kill all humans like I could before. What did you just say? Huh? You definitely said kill all humans. What? <laughs> you must be mistaken. No, I'm not. Why would I want to kill all humans? That's what I want to know. My friend, uh, Mr. M uh, heard wrong. I assure ye, you, I would never harm an innocent so let alone kill all humans. Error, error, unable to launch extermination protocol. Yeah, again. You must be tired, my friend. <laughs> Why don't you go and rest a bit? I think you're hearing things. But no one, what, no one else heard it? Damn fine, I'll go and rest. But this conversation isn't over. Okay, Vortex. Hey, kid, how are you getting settled? It is sad to see what uh, those villains have done to our village, but I will be fine, Lord Jeff. What about our team? All this modern technology and stuff must seem very strange to you, huh? A bit. However, I am Vartanak... I'm not even going to attempt. I was raised to be able to use and resist strange technologies left behind by my ancestors. In that regard, your scientific weapons and devices are not uh, that hard to understand. Yeah, I've noticed that you are natural at handling firearms. That's amazing. Although I do find some things to be very strange. Yeah, like what? Like Master Diarmas. He's your tribe's weaponsmith, right? Yes, you can say that. Uh, okay, Typo or Rammer. Uh, he is... His task is to provide us with weaponry and tech support. Then why do you have to purchase his weapons with your own money? I don't understand. <laughs> oh, that. Well, you see, we have this merit system and uh, capitalism. To be honest, I don't understand either. Why do I have to pay for my own weapons on an official mission? <laughs> Lampshade hanging, it's a mystery. And nothing new from him. <clears throat> Alright, see. Pizza, you don't uh, really see black like Russians. You're the first one I have ever seen. This is a movie quote. I'm not being racist. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, from from what she has told us before, uh, she was 
Yeah, her father or her family. I forget if it was only her father, her father. or just her family. Okay, father brought her over from Morocco to Russia. Though why specifically, I forget or she hasn't told. Uh, it was it her father moved to Russia or brought her to Russia? There's a chance it could be half Siberian. Let's see, how are we on? Okay, two there. Uh, hold on a sec. What is this one? When no enemies are near, damage is increased by 20. Let's actually... Let's actually try this. Though, how near? What it defines with near, I would want to know. Lordy, we're still missing a lot of skills, but I do suspect we get the last mod... Oh, wait. We may be missing two modules. Hmm. Or two batteries. Hmm. Let me actually do a quick count. Four, seven, and there are one, two, three, four. Actually, you can easily count this after fast travel. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. Uh, not, the village probably doesn't count as one, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one of these probably doesn't give or has one of the crystals hidden. Actually, did we start with one? Hmm. I think you started with one. Okay, and, that, that would mean hmm. that two areas do not have crystals. And I'm going to guess that Creed's Fortress is one of them, perhaps. Hmm. Yeah. There, there are the vaults, which might have some uh, one of them, maybe. Maybe. We still haven't found a single one of those damn things. But I'm guessing they're all in Creed's Fortress here. So... Yeah, let's head on over. Okay. And see how close we can get to our titular madman. I never get used to that word, titular. Mostly because I have seen people misuse it for puns. Yeah, of course. Uh, I said that didn't interrupt me. What were you to say? Yeah, I was basically going to ask uh, <laughs> that most people would you know, use it more in a not safe for work matter uh, meaning. Uh, that would be the pen for it, what level. Uh... But yeah. The reason I'm looking around here is, be is because I want to look for whatever other hidden thing there is here. Yeah, mm. since we're approaching the finale. Having as much upgrades as possible is a good idea. Yeah. And we can almost soon afford a gun. Okay, that's new. Little laser sight. Okay, now I get it. When we are when we are not near an enemy, it shows that laser sight. But when we are. Oop, that got close. Then it doesn't show. Okay, that's a nice little detail. So now we have plus 40 damage, or 40% damage, as long as we're not too close to enemies. Wait. Let's see. You, you've been up at the tunnel over that uh, monitor, right? Now this... We have not been here, I think. Yeah, for, for that hit the monitor in a cave, looks like it had a... There we go. Thing over uh, Hello. And that's all there is to find here. All okay. Right. Hmm. I do think we need to go the other way to actually get to Creed. Because there's these two and the pathways, but I'm pretty sure they're blocked. Well they were blocked. Maybe they're not anymore. 
Step. Ow. Okay, the bounciness catches me off guard each time. Understandable. You and I wonder. Hmm. Uh, do you have the next game installed and ready? Uh, Robocop, yes. I wasn't sure we get we get the chance to start that today, but maybe. I think I doubt it. I'm guessing that three is going to be quite a pain in the ass to fight as well, seeing as the just the average challenge level of the bosses, I'll say. Not really difficult le the level. <laughs> I forgot that those get smacked by their own shield. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I, I am worth kind of saying maybe rather yeah, hesitantly maybe. Also, uh, cat dog above Jeff here. Oh no. Okay, maybe not specifically cat dog, but still. Also fish with VR goggles. Yeah, I I did like Nickelodeon like growing up. Sorry people. I feel like most of the time I was uh, watching it. It was obviously weirder shows on. And the good ones were only on when I was to uh, go somewhere. Yeah, Nickelodeon had good shows, has good shows probably still. Oh, hello. But they also had... Yeah, a lot of bad or mediocre and that's all of them. Okay. All energy cells. Uh, blue bolts give you wings. Uh, okay, if that's a ref... Wait, is that blue... Did say blue bolts? They have blue bolts. Uh, I'm guessing it's the. <laughs> I'm guessing they're making a Red Bull reference with that. Yeah, Which, it feels like a Red a Bull reference. Uh, 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 have you seen the Red Bull ads? Uh, yeah, they are decently common here. Yeah, so they. They want the more tolerable uh, 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 ads, surprisingly. Yeah. Like. There may be some bad ones, but most of them are either funny or just... Uh, alright. Yeah, from the ads that I've seen, which I don't know if those are international or just... Uh, uh, just regional. But they do often seem to take the piss with themselves a bit. Yeah, or a certain type. Let's see. I'm going to guess that in the remaining hidden areas around the place that some of them will have hearts, like over here, I'm guessing. So, yeah, we may not be able to get all of the hearts in the game. Hmm. Oh, that opens the lower one. Okay, for a second I thought that it wasn't doing anything. Uh, someone played Tic Tac 2? Yep. I missed that. <laughs> I think I just noticed that by chance. Okay, I do like that. It is very clear what shot they're going to fire once you notice that their backpack changes color as well. Yep. Yep. Yep, that rock. I thought it's got its shield back up, but guess it struck it just in time. Okay. Now we need to rush over. There. 
Because last time these blew up after a bit of time, I believe. Like that. Hmm. Okay. It'll probably be faster to do this with Shura. At least it is for the off. second half. Yeah, it is that half is open now. Yeah. Like, it will close the moment that I switch away from Vortex. Like that. Nope. Oh. Come on. Almost. Yeah, if I hadn't messed up the jump here, or the grapple. There. Okay. Maybe open it in advance. Yep, yeah. <laughs> also smart. There. Okay. Yeah, I might not be uh, tip top ship today, but I have enough brain power to notice uh, something at least. Yep, no, nope, wrong. It might have cost us. Would be nice if it was a bit more noticeable when they are going to explode. Yeah. If I hadn't messed up the dash, that would have been it. Also, still not a single sign of any of those freaking uh, vaults. And you forgot to open the door again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They were probably all in the fortress. Yeah, just off the beaten path, probably. Same damn spot. Okay. I get putting in time-based puzzles, but this one is a bit tight with it. Yeah, either they're a bit unnecessary tight with it, or they are so loose with it that you can just ask why even bother. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna be there. There we go. Okay. That's a shortcut. Hmm. That's actually a there's actually a few areas in the toxic ducks that we haven't seen. Hmm. Okay, thank you. Hmm. See, have seen this before? Uh, ta -ta -ta. Toxic slugs contain lethal uh, levels of radiation. Lethal means de <coughs> deadly. Stop letting the slugs take a chunk out of you in hopes you'll score a cool, mu a cool mutation that'll raise your supervillain stock. People, this is why we have Gamma Ray Wednesdays. Creed believes in you. He wants to elevate your growth as a mutated bringer of doom, but when he sees your glowing face, he needs to know it's from the gratitude of gainful employee, not late-stage rat sickness. <laughs> Effective immediately, any henchman requesting medical aid for a toxic slug bite will be taken to the labs for brain remapping. You're trying to take the fast road to Mean Streets? We'll scoop the evil out of you so fast that you'll be trying to save the wills by morning. <laughs> Okay. Okay, there has to be something hidden around here. Otherwise there wouldn't be all the saw blades and such. There we go.
There. Thank you, but for now, uh, what the heck did I listen to? Uh, another... Uh, <laughs> what is the word? Yeah, another PSA from Creed. Let's see. So this is the source of the river of poison that Dr. Creed you know, created to destroy our island. Well, yeah, but also no. What do you mean, Noble Jeff? It's the source, all right, but it wasn't actually created to destroy the island. It's just a waste product of his experiments. Just waste? What type of waste can flow like a river and poison nature itself? Dr. Creed is truly evil to create something that horrible. Well, uh, it's not like he invented it. Actually, it's sort of co a common thing where we're, we come from. Surely you just know, <laughs> Noble Jeff. <laughs> uh, yes, good. totally joking. Only a deranged psychopath like Creed would create something like that. Uh, yes, totally. At least we are trying to be better. We Reach fully recharges the last energy cell every 50, uh, 50, 12 seconds. Using secondary weapon increases charge speeds. Wait, does it? Hmm. With last, does it mean fill in the next one? Or only the last one? Like we can, uh... Like we can only use it once? Hmm. We'll need to test that out. Yeah, but that's a, that was sounds possibly handy. And here is with okay. Gala Gala Handroid. Gala, okay. So this is where that's hidden. Hmm. Not a note. Entry two one and one. It's the Deviant League's annual Scoundrels Ball. All the world's supreme villains gather as one to celebrate our shared love of mayhem. Sure, my rivals will be in attendance. The seven actually worth a seat at the Table of Terror. Their competence for chaos unnerves me, but not this year. My experimental brainwashing techniques has led to a breakthrough. I've run trials on a group of fools who th thought they'd signed up for a free session with a life coach. If it's purpose they, are, they were missing, they surely have it now. A fine first batch of henchmen. If I can brainwash a bunch of aimless drifters into cannon fodder, what magic can I work on real heavy hitters? Perhaps seven rivals, all quite competent in chaos. Should be a fun party. Okay, that, that explains how he gets, gets his henchmen. Because we found later uh, volumes of those, like 400 and such. Yeah, so... And but this is brainwash cyborgs. Yeah. Now some are cyborgs, some are more human still, or fully human still. Also, this looks like the living quarters area. Yeah. Right, didn't we get through there before? It yeah, I think we like went through here before. It doesn't seem like they, from a rumor, they are really eager to cyborg to summarize you after every accident. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, let's continue on. I'm guessing this is going to. Wait, there's still more here? Okay. Uh, let's see if we can get back down there. Then we can also take a look at the toxic ducts in those extra rooms. Hmm. Should should we go looking around more or should we try to focus fully on getting to Creed? I say this, we can try? And if, if we fail hard, we can continue exploring. Okay, then... Let's get to this hammock, then we can look around over here. Okay. Yeah, we can still continue exploring while heading over there. Yeah, I get the feeling this is the... this. I, I think these are the jail... What the heck is happening out there? I think these are the jail cells, so this door is likely to be locked. Still, let's take a look. Yep. 
Really? Okay. Really There's something it. else here. Oh, free heart piece. Hmm. Okay, that, re that reminds me actually. I'm thinking about what other Zelda games to stream besides Wind Waker and its two sequels on the DS. And I'm thinking at the least, like Twilight Princess, maybe Skyward Sword. And of course, hmm. the ones on Switch. Yeah. Breath of the Wild <laughs> and Tears of the Kingdom. I think some of them have actually been ported over to Switch. Um, I know that... I know that Wind Waker has the Wii U remake. Hmm, would need to check. Let's see, where else could something be hidden here? Over here, uh, apparently. Uh, Captain, yes. look at the poster. Yeah, uh, nine out of ten chance that there's a hole behind that, isn't there? Uh, I was more like, the, is that a dress or is that a very, very wide hips? Okay. And yeah, these are the jail cells, I think. Uh, yeah, dead end. <laughs> okay, may as well refill. Okay, pizza went back to the, their stream. Okay. All right, good luck. Wait a minute, I feel so something. Hmm. Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, go back. For Looks first, like there's two people walking, looking through a window. Uh, we oh, were you, just you, up, you here. up here. Well, up there, yeah. Okay. Hmm. They'll give another chance to look through the next area for any hidden goodies. So I'm. Hmm. I'm going to guess that uh, Galahad's outfit counts as one of the collectibles in there. <clears throat> I would not be surprised that that's the case. In which case, we'll need to find those other key cards before we can unlock that. There. Go. Oh, speaking of... How did we miss that previously? I think you were too focused on other things. Yep, and that's all. Okay, so it does not count the outfit as one of the collectibles here. At least for map oh. completion. Food stun, BRB. Behave. Yeah, speaking of food, I tried one of those uh, cup noodle things uh, yesterday. And it wasn't too... It, it, I went with one of the cheapest ones, just in case. But it wasn't too bad, but it wasn't too good either. Okay. So, yeah, I I might try a more a, a more pricey one sometime later. Hold on a sec. Okay. Is each of these supposed to be for one of the big... Okay, yeah, I think these are supposed to be... Yep, for each of the bosses, for the cyborgs that we fought so far. The Joes, uh, the Warden, I think Icarus with this one, look, judging from the helmets. Uh, Galahads, <laughs> this one was supposed to be Galahads. Of course they give him extra bow ties. <laughs> um, let's see, our ninja friends. Friend is a bit of a big word. Uh, oh, wait! Did they really? Did they really flood us 
did they really flood one of these for the frick, big freaking jellyfish, even though he never fit in here? Uh, let me check. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. And Galahad was supposed to be number eight. Also, why is there a parking sign out there? Okay. Uh, let me check. Two more to go somewhere. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> nice detail work that they honestly did not need to put into the game, but still very nice to see it being put in the game. Hmm. <clears throat> Get back to the room, I want to see a squirrel. Okay. Hold on. What is that there I saw? Okay, I thought those were Metroids for a second. <clears throat> but yeah, this is the living quarters, but it's for the seven deadly you know, cyborgs of Freed. Like, uh, yeah, the ninja here. I think this one is supposed to be for that big freaking jellyfish we fought at the start, since it's flooded and, well, a tentacle on this thing. Uh, I forget this one, maybe Icarus, or maybe someone we haven't met yet, or I'm for just forgetting, the Joes. So that makes one, two, three, four, five. Uh, yeah, six and seven. This one is obviously the Wardens. This one I might also be forgetting. Let me actually... Did I just read this? Uh, yeah. And, yeah, yeah this one was supposed to be for Galahad. Yeah. Oh yeah, the other one you think about is not Warden, but Overseer. Mm. Could be. I, we have... <laughs> it's... We have been playing this for like a month and a half now, so it makes sense that I would forget some things. And I just saw where the last collectible in this level, or not this room, is. Just need to get down there. And then again, I don't know what we can actually use those remaining kits on, because I didn't see anything for that. Let's head this way and head upwards. Yeah, elevator. Oh, before we get. Have you figured out that you had a uh, room one yet? Uh, I actually forgot Maybe. to check around for that, so I'll need to do I that can. again. Yeah. But I do yeah, think we have it somewhere. Yeah, for we we pondered to watch something today, but Liz is unable, so we thought maybe watch something else. Good, yeah. And I have not seen Group yeah. One, dude. Since a Star Wars movie, I'm gonna guess it's gonna be a long one. Not too long, I think. And I should have expected That's not this. Again. Not so is much it a... counts as a painting, more as a poster that's been put into a frame here. Yeah, and here's the thing. I don't know if that's a white dress or the uh, woman, woman in it has very extremely white hips. I think it's a. I think it's a skirt. Yeah, I, I hope it is a skirt. For probably is they use the same color on the skirt as the skin here. So it's supposed to be black uh, and white and it makes no, sense, I, I guess. I, I think those are those are hills in the background. That's not her ass. I hope you're right. Uh, you, I hope you're you can right. see a lighter gray below the, the top, that's her skirt. Okay. That's the background you're being you've been ogling. More of being confused by for the position is it's such a weird way that he's definitely tricked me. Saw this. Okay, just gold. Okay. And this leads up oh, this leads to the jail, so we can open that up. Okay, 
two rounds for these. To go around. There. And there. Okay, now that's all opened up. Mm. Open that up as well. Okay, now this place can be yeah, safely traversed. Except for, well, the bits with the saw blades. Yep. Yeah, I was to say, uh, question you on the safety traverse part there after seeing those. Hello. Okay, oh, one more, and we can buy another one for one more heart. Yeah. Right. And that's everything here. Okay. But yeah, I was like, I was taking a quick look through the uh, <clears throat> through the, the the Zelda games that are out there, and uh, yeah, I, I thought Wind Waker was a, a bit more later in the uh, not timeline, but Wind Waker was, was released a lot earlier than I thought uh, originally, from what I remembered. Let's see. I'm thinking we need to go through here to get to Creed, so let's take a look what's in that lower room. Okay. Also a nice little thing, we can use that little laser pointer to take a, to use it as a bit of an enemy detector. Because if there's enemies nearby, it'll all all appear. Um... Yep. Okay, what? Okay, a showroom uh, for <laughs> for hammocks. Okay. okay. What? Oh. <laughs> I see where this is going already. From defense department, I said very clearly: procure two hundred havoc missiles. We're talking uh, rockets, geniuses. Stuff that supervillains tend to keep in good supply. But here I'm looking at a warehouse full of 200 hammocks. I am beyond speechless. What the hell are we going to do with all of these? I mean, two or three for the break room, sure, but come on. One of you pencil pushers better come up with a way to turn these peaceful swings into torture devices or it's your ass. Idea, roll prisoners up really, really tight and then spin them really fast. That's That one's on the house. Get to work. Glory to Chris. That explains why there's just so many freaking hammocks around. <laughs> uh. Okay, now I'm also one. I'm since the laser pointer also shows up on the sub weapons. Does it also affect these? I think it does because that took three shots instead of two before. Or was it two before? Hmm. Another one of these. Okay, where's the starting point? Ow. Okay. Okay, it's up there. And... Okay. Oh, freebie. Let's see, we need 2300 to be able to buy both the gun and the heart piece. Oh, that was close enough. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, 
Alright, we are definitely in Creed's... Now, not Inner Sanctum, but... Getting close, because, well, the place has been getting more and more fancy. Shortcut. Hmm. Yeah, we probably... We could have gotten here much earlier. Okay, the Chakram isn't going to be much use in areas where it can bounce around a bit too much. There we go. Yeah, one more for the stoop. Uh, there uh, we go. Look at the picture over your head there. Or was over your head? Yep. <laughs> Really? <laughs> King Kong, but a robot? It might be Robocong. Hmm. Is there something hidden up there with all of those platforms? Wait, Robocong. Metacong, I think the name is. Okay. Okay, there must be a switch somewhere around here to open that up. Probably that one. Uh, one of these little mazes, huh? Okay, we can't jump up there. We can't jump up here either. Okay, no opening there. No opening... Huh? Okay. Either I'm completely missing something, or there is no way to actually progress from this end. Hmm. Also, where is the thing to activate these? Hmm. Oh. Oh, well, hold on, there is an opening. Yep. Okay. Yep. I'll take it. Okay. All right. Let's see. Can we can... Yep, that's a block. Yeah, you want to go down there? Yep, you want to play thing over there? Yep. <gasps> that opens for that. Can't go to the left here. Can't go down here. Yeah, that was a fake out there. Um, yeah, now yeah, we can so go to the, the other uh, one. Yeah, for the, there's anything that you want to use uh, Vortex for. Uh, where? 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 It, it was... Re let me finish showing! <laughs> it, it, it was revealed when you took the chest. because it removes all of that as well. Ah, okay. you see that? Yeah. I'm presuming that will get revealed, but yeah, this shows what I, is something I said a few videos, a few streams back, I believe. That when you're in one hidden area, that all of the hidden areas get revealed. You're just typically not close by. Okay, so gotta keep that in mind. Okay. Up. Uh, wait. Okay. Okay, I missed that entrance before. Okay. And we can pull this one, which opens this. Oh. And one more key card. That should be six of seven, I believe. Exit. Oop, uh, Hello. Wait. Oh, switch. Okay. And okay, that means that there is one more somewhere. Yeah, I was just say that one is not golden. Yep. 
Okay, the question is, where is the golden one? Also, a little detail that I just noticed here. That there's actually a vent cover. There. Let's see, there's still something around here, even though we found a decent amount of things. Oh, right, yeah, the, the, the little museum to his own glory. Let's see. Anything? <clears throat> hmm. Did I miss one of these? Uh... Did that turn on that light, or was that already on? I, I think it's turned on when you did that. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> because it's like an exhibit. When you are interacting with it, it turns on the light so you can see it better. Hmm. So where is the last thing here, then? So what is Creed's you know, obsession with a stylized V? Just no V's in his name. Or was that in his Dylan? old name? The cov the, 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 bang adapted to hide his true identity. Mm -hmm. yeah, that also guess, turns it, on the uh, light. It's supposed to be V for villain? Could be. But, yeah, otherwise, I, I agree with you, it's... This other place, unless it's not supposed to be a V, it might be something else. Hmm. I really can't say what... Where this last thing is supposed to be. Hmm. There aren't any more things to read. We found the crystal in the ceiling. Yeah, what I can say is, what is the golden one? Pizza back in chat, give me a sec. Uh, let's see, man, I swear these fucking GFX artists pissed me the fuck off. Yeah, you know, another one trying to contact you in uh, DMs and such, or... You, or just in stream chats. They say they want to be friends, but the moment you say no to them wanting to sell and show the new stuff, they leave. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's why I'm hesitant whenever someone just contacts me out of the blue uh, on Discord or such. Yes. Uh, hello. Yep. Uh, another one of Creed's abominations. Kill it with fire. The one called Jeff, an enemy I am not. I quite admire your work. Hey now, how how you know my name, Stonehead? Of all the henchmen I have deployed across this island, so very few ever return. Their trembling lips speak only one name, Jeff Jefferson. You send the goons to tussle with me and you're happy I'm wiping the floor with them? Should have known you were all about the head games. <laughs> that was an easy one, Jeff. I do not serve the one called Creed by choice. I am a stolen artifact of achievements turned weapon of war. And I calculate that uh, the one called Creed will soon befall more of my kind. I cannot allow this. What? Wait, are you an Atlantean supercomputer or something? Three stone guardians oh. remain active across this island. I ask that you deny Creed the chance to sully their servitude by giving the guardians a true warrior's end. You? Wouldn't me to kick your old pals' asses? I've done the calculations. This is the way. In return, I will give to you this island's greatest secrets. I don't have, I don't have to check your ma math on that. Consider it done. <clears throat> uh, so, uh, what do I call you? I'm the one called Prios. Return to me when the duty is done. Yep. Rebooter. A handheld Atlantean device used to awaken stone guardians from their sleep. Wait, I I know where one of these is. Yeah, and haven't we defeated one? 
No, or maybe. Uh, 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 yeah, we, we fought one as a boss. Hmm. Yeah, I, during exploration, I found just a, an inactive golem over here. That must be one of the guardians. Okay, then there's another one over here. And the last one over here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Pizza. No, literally was one in my uh, chat right now. I knew they were a GFX artist because I check my viewers in chat every time I see that there are more than two. And I don't recognize the name. I check their Twitch bio for whether it's a bot or artist. Uh, yeah, b basically whenever it's you know, someone in their bio puts like GFX artist or anything of the same kind, just block them instantly before they even have the chance to uh, contact you, be it on Twitch or Discord. Because, well... 99% of people who put that there are just looking to scam from my personal experience. Not to say that all artists on YouTube and on, on the internet are scammers like that, but if they're so blatant with their quote-unquote abilities, then typically they're yeah, just looking to advertise or scam. Yeah, most artists I know and respect, they don't go to... Uh these things and advertise in that manner. Like, they usually mm. say on their own page that they accept commissions and such. Or if they yeah. don't accept commissions. Okay, I'm guessing after we deal with those guardians, Prius would pull, would open this, and I'm guessing that Switch would show all the secrets on the map or something. Or maybe something else. Yeah, and, and then, of course, if you pay for commission on an artist, they will request you to acknowledge if they made it for you. This kind of would be a free advertisement. So, yeah, just going out and doing that like that on st streamers like that is, uh, yeah, fishy. I, don't, I think most good artists would not do that. I should, I should double check what the uh, chat intro is for me. Okay, we we can get in there from the right. But I should definitely, I should definitely have no advertising uh, <clears throat> as one of the rules. Yep. Okay, that was a bad bounce for me at least. For him, it was a good bounce. Probably, yeah, I, I probably should head over to the hammock. <clears throat> Let's see, yeah, I think I know what they do now. They tab your stream and then go through the tabs one by one. Yep, I forgot that was there. Right, just going to dodge them for the moment. Since we're close to this one anyways. I still like the self-awareness that they actually put in a reason for why there's freaking hammocks all over the place. Yeah, it kind of makes sense since, let's be honest, hammocks are used for if you're on a ship and all that. So, no, this isn't anywhere near a ship. And they did have a submarine, but yeah, that was really small. Hmm. But yeah, they don't seem to really have a naval force to be... Dig in with, so yeah. Okay. No need to bother with getting those activated when we could just fly over. Oh, and we have enough money for the heart piece and the weapon. Nice. Yep, almost jumped into that. I'm really curious of where the heck is the golden shard. Oh god. Hmm. Oh, I, I see a kit! Still no clue what those what the rest of those might be for. Since I I don't I didn't see any new things to upgrade. 
Yeah. At the base. Okay, that is a good question. I, I doubt they would put in more than you'd actually need. If, if, if pizza, uh, have a good meal. Enjoy your food and see you next time, pizza. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Entry 488. Turns out Grandfather had found the right island, only to be slapped back into his submarine by some local protectors. Holy salami or something. Yeah, the locals weren't as feisty as my forces uh, when my forces stormed the shores. They filmed the passage to Atlantis, warning me of the untapped power sealed within. Yeah, I know. I stormed the beach and built a freaking lair. This isn't a golfing trip. I have ways of getting what I want. And by ways, I mean a freaking laser drill. When my laser finally blasts my a red carpet into Atlantis, I'm going to plug so many things into that core. My death bot, my neck massager. Oh, I've definitely got to use the core to power my new lair's defenses. Grandfather, in a way, your dreams came true. The unlimited power of Atlantis will be harnessed by the hands of Creed. There we go. Hmm. Now, how many of us? We have four of them. I saw one more. So, what could we use those five for? Did we fully upgrade the, the self proclaimed pacifist shop? I uh, think so. And let me check. Yeah, we have we have only the the gun that the armor sells left here, and well, the ones made from these. Hmm. Yeah, I guess the these remaining kits is for that. I don't, maybe if there's something we specifically need to build those. I don't know that I think we I think we will get them when we get all five of the cores for each of them. <clears throat> Inner Sanctum. Okay. Hmm. It would be nice if there was a shortcut between here and there. Yeah, I assume the good one is somewhere around here. I have the feeling that it's going to be in one of the other areas. Okay. Yeah, so far we have found all the shots in order, except the one uh, we found now that's probably the last one. Yeah, I'm not sure if we found them exactly in order, because we didn't really check the thing too much, I think, or at least I don't remember paying too much attention to the color dis displayed by it. First off, let's head over this way, so we can open this up. Okay. Okay, there'll be another sh shortcut down below. Uh, Do not. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Is, is this where Creed stored that donut that he plans to eat after conquering the world? <laughs> really? Still got him with that one. Oop, almost. Okay, one more wave, I'm guessing. Yep, oh, one of you. Okay, 
Are you serious? We, we have a, a shield unit that we still haven't killed yet, I think. Yeah. Okay, we get two shots off. Oh, crap. Forgot about this move. Quickly. There. There we go. I really should stick to Shura mostly for combat, huh? Yeah, that laser weapon is then good, but so is Vortex weapon as well. Yeah, if there's multiple targets for it to bounce around off. That was a dumb move of me. Let me guess. Are we really going to be that petty? Yep, <laughs> the perfect specimen. Incredibly beautiful and fresh pink egg donut. Looks like it was made a second ago. But did he did he invent stasis tech just for freaking donuts? Let's be honest, they probably did. Let's see. Creed log number 553. I'm making great progress, but I'm missing a vital piece of my operation. A reliable supply of donuts. Ever since I executed my personal pastry chef, the situation has been dire. Why did nobody stop me, fools? I floated the idea to the overseer that she take on a dual role, becoming an overchef of sorts. The result was tremendously unconstructive. She threatened to unionize, to poison my meal, to call PETA. <sighs> yeah, they would they would call in a greater evil than Creed. <laughs> because fuck PETA. <clears throat> Maybe this is the fire I need to finally figure out how to increase the range of my dimensional transporter. If I could just get it to reach the mainland, I could trick a delivery man to come through and ha <laughs> num num num. My empire for a good to <laughs> He was really working on upgrading his teleportation tech just to <laughs> just to get freaking donuts. Uh. Oh, Again, Creed is a fucking jackass, but he's a funny jackass. Okay. Hmm. One heart. I'm going to hope that there's a hammock ahead of us. No. Oh. Okay, I thought... <laughs> I thought that uh, the shields and health would be separate. Damn it. <laughs> and your coins slid down the stairs. Okay, it's not too far away, but it's still a nuisance. All right, we don't have the battery yet. So uh, we need to turn this one in still. A strange crystal bring with mysterious energy. Yeah. I, I, I hope we can still use them for, to upgrade others. We need to find the golden one. I don't think it's going to be picky in what order we get them. Uh, but yeah, let's head over to here. Actually, it would be better to go down then. Okay, just going to try and ignore whatever combat I can. There. Okay, then we can get that heart piece, the new gun, just to try it out. And, well, the next battery for the, the PDA. Oops. Nope. Yep. Okay, those track for a long time. Uh, 
Okay. Oh, we have someone uh, in chat. Hello there. Hello, uh, Cameron. <laughs> if I may call you that. Uh, how are you doing today? And w welcome to the stream and welcome to Blast Brigade versus the Evil Legion of Dr. Creed. Where, well, our goal at the moment is defeat Dr. Creed. So we may actually be able to finish this game today. Yes. With luck. Uh, let's see, doing well? How are you? Uh, doing pretty decent, I'd say. Could be better, could be worse. A decent day uh, here as well. And yeah, it's not picky about us accidentally skipping one of these. Here we go. Okay. Get that. Okay, just one more. Okay. And that's all that the armors has to sell. Okay, we still have yeah these here. Still not seen a single one of these blasted vaults. Hmm. Yeah, that you you would expect of us to have seen some of the vaults in Creed's Citadel, but yeah, we haven't. Maybe I've just not com maybe I've just not recognized them at all so far. Hmm. Either way, we have one more battery. Hmm. Let's check this out. So just jump out for a sec. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. Uh, what do you mean the last one? Yeah, the last energy. Okay. One. Oh, yeah, you can oh, see yeah. it charging. Okay. Hmm. That, that would be good for boss fights. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, I thought with the last one it meant like more the last uh, one in the line. Uh, that makes sense as well. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Uh, so, uh, do you want to look at a medical pack? Uh, what's the third one do again? Uh, <clears throat> Enemies drop health right. boosts that disappear at this soon after. Let's see. Hmm. Let's remove this one for the moment. So, hmm. Let's do a quick. All right, I need to remove it first. I do really still like this system. Where you need to pick and choose between four on each lane, but you can pick multiple. Uh, let's see, is there anything that... Okay. So that that red glow... Is, is that the... Okay, yeah, that red glow is what, it, what signifies the, the, the damage upgrades. Or the damage boosts. Let's see, did it say... It doesn't say anything about a cooldown, though. There definitely is a bit of a cooldown to it. Still, I think I'll take it. For now, let's head back to Creed's Fortress and go say hi to the man himself. Oh, dear. Let's see, nothing I'm forgetting. Uh, oh, yeah. That side quest that I talked about, that I found with the French Culinary Counterintelligence Agency, uh, that it gave a code for something, but what that code was for, I forget. It's just, yeah, no, there's four markers on the map. Let's see. Okay, this is the, this is the one, <laughs> stage two of that side quest. Uh, Jacques, or Jax has provided the brigade with a cryptic note that details a way into Kree's secret storeroom. 
Our heroes will use this information to pill for Creed's secret formula. We could actually go get that quickly. Yeah, for... Hmm. What do I feel we thing. should do that... Uh, the stone giants and that one as well for... Well... We may need every single upgrade we can get. Yeah, maybe. I'll, I'll still... After this one... I'll still go for Creed to see if we can take him on. Yeah, for, I don't feel like we can definitely do that for... Since, yeah, if we get to know how they fight, we then know if we need it or not. Yeah. For, there has been moments where the final boss is awkwardly the easiest boss. Yeah. Okay, just gotta get through this for a second. I don't think that happens too often, but it definitely has happened. Yeah, all of the extra stuff will definitely make it easier. But in general, Metroidvania bosses can be beaten without... Uh, hmm, without needing every single upgrade. Okay, let's see. Uh, 1, 12, 2, 7, 3, 25. Does that mean seconds or something? Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then it was 25. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve, ten, twelve, the thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 14, 15, 16. I'm just going to keep standing on this until something happens or not. So maybe one of these needs to be... Maybe these need to be pressed a certain amount of times or something. Let's see. One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Hmm. Okay. So that's not it. Unless you count it wrong, but yeah, I'm... It's vi it's badly vague. Twelve seven twenty-five. Maybe it's Six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <clears throat> ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Okay. I might be counting too fast. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to quickly look this up because I don't want to just spend I don't want to run away too fast for this. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> uh, ta -ta -ta. Come on. I really should upgrade my phone sometimes just because this one is just reacting slower and slower. Uh, blast brigade. <clears throat> The secret and unload secrets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
wait, wait until the light above lights up. Wait. What? Oh, the light on the ceiling. Yeah, it was probably on those. I thought, uh, should they light up or something? Okay, so I was counting too quickly. Yep. Okay, that that's a nice sign that to show that you are doing the right thing. My counting yeah, was just off. I was, I was wondering if they were supposed to be telling or not, but when I saw that one almost hit, I thought, maybe not, for that one would be hard to see. <clears throat> okay, come on. Come on, turn on. There we go. Uh, let's see. Proof of purchase, see creed. Uh, plutonium, 12 kilograms, weapon grade, titanium plates, 35 CT, stolen from a uh, rival supervillain. Bone dust, 6 kilograms, endangered species. Flour, 10 kilograms, generic brand. Donut glaze, 3 liter, good old Gordy's brand. Uh, okay, is that supposed to be a recipe or something? Somebody sounds like a recipe for food, even though a bit horrible for the endangered species and all. Yes, bone has been used for cooking before, but why plutonium and metal? Yeah, I I think it's not entirely a recipe list, or at least I hope it's not. Okay, but it would be quite a go, or quite a walk to get back to Jacques with that. Hmm. So for now, let's take... Na for now, let's see about uh, visiting the good doctor. Okay. And give him a good spanking. No him, no him, no, 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 Captain. The bad doctor. Yeah. The evil doctor. Right. Actually, hmm. whilst we're here, mm, I'll leave that one on. Okay, down to the plants. I'm just being lazy. Okay. The minion lookalikes there still. I'm on. I think at the moment my least favorite enemy would be a tie between Fishface and just the uh, the flying trucks. So they just take so many freaking shots to get rid of. Not the bats. Yeah, the bats are more easily you know, dispatched, even though they are very annoying. <clears throat> it's just yes, that the other two just take so many freaking shots to get rid of. Yeah. And the bats in this game, I think he said this so many times now, are a bit more deadlier than your average bats. Yeah. Since... Uh, where is the, yeah, where is the they, connection they are... point with the other thing? Slightly tankier, only slightly, depending on what weapon you're on with. But they have a bit more move, uh, skills uh, to use against uh, you beside poking. Yeah. <laughs> now let's see. Cameron, where are you guys from? Uh, I'm from the Netherlands and the uh, is Swedish. Okay. Here we are again. Not that there's much use for that money anymore, since we've basically bought everything that's of much use. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Hmm. Which way are we supposed to go? Far. I'm hoping not 
accidentally, accidentally backtracking with this. Order. Oop. Up. Okay, so this. None of that was necessary. There. Yeah, but really, I've been through that before. Hmm. That's it. And where are you from then, if I may ask, Cameron? Oh, wait. Uh, okay, I see it now, yeah. This half and the upper half are completely separated. So, yeah, this is not a shortcut of any sort. Uh, USA, okay. Okay, uh, need to go the long way around then. Okay. Yeah, not to say that the level design in this game is bad, but I still probably would have put like a fast travel point closer to Creed's. Hmm. Then again, the classic Metroid games, or maybe not even the, only the classic, but more, a lot of the Metroid games need you to travel quite a bit until you actually get to uh, the bosses. So s surviving the journey to them is already half of uh, a, a fight. And yeah, we do plan to stream the Metroid games in the future. At least some of them. Basically, hmm. the ones we can stream. Like, I guess you can get an emulator to stream the very first one, but... Only yeah, the, the first yeah. one that most of the story is in the manual. And of course, uh, at I'm... the start and the end of the game. I'm thinking more like Metroid Prime, those games, of which Metroid Prime 4 has finally gotten a, a semi-solid release date, I think. <clears> hmm. <throat> uh, but yeah, Metro, uh, Metroid Prime 1, 2, and 3. Though with 2, I've heard that there is one part that is really freaking hard to get through. Oops. So, yeah, we'll need to see about that. I'm hoping that uh, they remaster Metroid Prime 2 like they did with Metroid Prime 1. And hopefully they'll ease up on the difficulty with that bit a bit. It would make sense for them to do so. Okay. It'd be nice if there was a shortcut to be opened there. Really? Yeah, the green one's track. Ow. Yeah. Metroid Prime Fusion and Dread are also two I would be willing to stream. Okay, heal up. I'm hoping there's a hammock up ahead. Because now we're completely out of healing. And we're outside of the map again for a bit. What does this say? Oh, unknown. Hmm, day. Let's call it Wednesday. Anywho, the phase shift duplicator is complete. Now I just have to de uh, decant some clones and stuff them into it, and then I'll be immortal. Technically, I'll be multi mortal. Demi mortal? Huh, quasi mortal? Doesn't matter. Point is, as long as I have the phase shift duplicator, yeah, duplicator, no one will be able to defeat me. 
Also, with the help of the clones, my brain power will become even more incalculable. I'll just have to find a way to prevent those conniving clones from betraying me. After all, no one can outsmart Creed, but Creed can outsmart anybody. Perhaps even Creed himself. Truly an elegant paradox that will need an equally elegant solution. Hmm. Brain bombs? Hypnosis? Lobotomy? I just can't decide. So many appealing options. <laughs> And that's all the notes. Okay, <laughs> those oh, right. the dominator. Okay, let there be a hammock here because I don't want. Yeah, there we go. I don't want to go into the possibly mm -hmm. final ba battle without any healing. Huh? What about a drink? Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, there is a shortcut down here, down to there, hopefully. Uh, let's see. Something up here. Teleporter. Oh, nope. Okay. For a second I thought that was a one-way teleporter. Okay. There must be something around here to unlock this area. Yep, there it is. Okay, that's our shortcut. And that's another heart. There's four more somewhere, but I think that's all we'll need, hopefully. Yeah. There. Yeah, it will be a bit annoying to have to off-stream explore more just to get as much as possible in case the, the boss is unnecessarily hard. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look. Hmm. <clears throat> Energy for health, quicker <clears throat> quicker consumption, damage if we're not too near. Actually, I think I'll remove this one. Yep. Ah. Wrong button. Because I probably won't be that active with switching things around. And then, yeah, then we have automatic refill. And just extra damage. Yeah. We will definitely do a test battle here and see. Okay, nice that they actively show it off this big. This is the point of no return. You've reached the point of no return. When you enter this room, you will be locked out of the rest of the world until you deal with Dr. Creed. Hmm. 90% progress. And yeah, the save is outside, so if we return, we can go back to try and find everything else. Okay. Yeah, there's still some goodies around. A bunch are probably just chests, which, well, we don't really need. But, yeah, let's try this. Boom! <laughs> Really? What you got there? Already looking into new careers? <laughs> now that you failed this whole world domination thing. At last, the blast bastard arrives. You've certainly put on a show, Jefferson. I'm still surprised nobody has said blasted uh, blast uh, brigade or something. Please, <laughs> please. I'm but a man. One hell of a man I am, but I had some fine friends at my side. Of course, your circus of like-minded miscreants. Is he actively looking at the, the screen? Hit <laughs> that. I think he is. Please, make an orderly line. I'll give you each a final taste of deep fright goodness before your painful deaths. Afraid not, Creed. Look, how about you just surrender? You've had your fun. Your giant your robot, giant of, robot death of death is kaput. Death is kaput. The Atlantean Sphere has been reclaimed. And your legion of cyborgs walloped. <laughs> Inconsequential. Minor setbacks is all. I'll build another death robot. Bigger than the last. I'll regain control over the Atlantean core. And this time, all of those arcane a-holes will serve me! Oh yes! I will rebuild a new legion, better than before. 
and you four will be the great horsemen of my second coming. Start to get biblical. Yep. Uh, but you're not ready to serve just yet, so I'll serve you something special until you're but toe in my hands. <laughs> Creed. You're in needing of a beating, and we ain't gonna stop till your eyes have glazed over. No holes barred. <laughs> Ooh, okay, that's a bit bigger than I thought. Okay, I think a little. Uh, yeah, it's not a V. It's a sideways. You see? It's a claw. Ew. At least, it, that's why this case is it's supposed to be a claw. Maybe. But it could also be uh, a stylized C on its side. Nope. Nope, hello. Using that portal tech of yours offensively now? Or, wait. Yeah, we actually need to follow him. Okay, did not... Ow. Okay, so now it... Okay, now it's a chase. And, yeah, he's actually using those portals to fire his stuff through. <laughs> okay, that's actually pretty clever. Now. Okay. There. There he is. Come back here, you. There. That. That still hit. Oop. Oop. Somehow did not get hit there. Okay, recharge. There. Oop. This is actually going really good so far. Watch me <laughs> jinx it in three, two. Yeah, I was getting ready for that, but yeah, it's going surprisingly well. Yep. Jeff. Could have probably gone through that app without that, but okay. I don't feel like the other parts will be this part, then the combat itself. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Everyone's getting a time to shine. Good. Ow. Wrong way. Hmm. I, at least I only took damage once from that. Yep. Wait. Okay, down that. Yay! If we somehow defeat him now, I will be surprised. There. There he is. Okay, we've got four hearts and a lot of lasers. Okay. 
Oh, more rockets. Okay, that did not expect that. Oh, damn. Okay, I noticed him crouching down too late there. Yeah, the most damaging parts are actually the platforming bits in between. Okay. Should we return some of the other things? Yep. Oops. Oh well. I'm going to give it another shot. For another laser. Still caught in that. Go, Galahad's turn. There. Oh, damn it. At least that thing doesn't do double damage like it could have done. Come here, you. Is he actually healing from those? Sure. I thought he was down to like Another charge. Quickly. Come back here with your clown car. Man, okay, now we know <laughs> his donut clown car. There, there. There we go. Not a single hit this time. Yeah, I get the feeling there is a bit of a damage threshold that he resets to. Okay, that gives off a shock wave as well. Nope, not falling. Okay, I fell for the after blast. There we go. Oop. Ah, damn it. Quickly. Okay, so a dodge and a jump should get me through that. And he grunts off again. Okay, whose turn is it now? Yep, thought so.
Okay, that's just that's just mean. Yeah. Yeah, this one I feel like might be the one that uh, gets most annoying. Come on. Right. This time, let's return that uh, recipe thing. Hmm. I don't think we'll get too much of a, of a reward for it. Hmm. One more attempt. As if I need to spend more time on dodging. I don't wonder if the skins actually do something. I doubt it. But so far, the skins seem to be kind of armory. Oh, damn it. I'm spacing the lasers out a bit more so that the burning effect can do more. That it does that much damage. Yeah, the reason I think that symbols are claw is that claw he has on his robot kind of looks familiar to the symbol. But it could also be that it's uh, the claw was designed off as a symbol, so. Yep. All claws look sort of the same. So that's not much of a point, really, I'd say. Yeah, I don't think the burning does actually adds that much more extra damage. I say that it, about 50% more. Yeah, like, it's much more noticeable against the other bosses. But this one... Not by much. Yeah, again, he is the final boss, so... Yeah. Oh, that's the reach. Ah, oh, damn it. And there he goes. Uh, it, he's, he seems to flee at every 20% about. There. Go. He's got to watch his patterns and how they change. Yeah, th those rockets are the most annoying to dodge, I'd say. Yep, really? There. Burn. There. Oh, yep. Okay, you can actually do attack. Try to attack us on the walls as well. It does make sense. Okay. I was lucky that I still had ooh, the double jump there. Yeah, 
Yeah, at least one of those keeps hitting me each time. And he's fleeing. Okay. That means it's Vortex's turn. Nope, almost. Really? Break the green. Come on, there. Okay. Platforming where you need to wait for bits? With a timer on your ass, that does not mix. Uh, I will say, I think they want you to throw the thing across, but there was another one uh, on the other side. Okay, I did not see that. Uh, yeah, there it is. Yep. There we go. Okay. The most practice to the sign for whatever you will call this. Okay, three hearts for two stages. Yep. Got it to Joe's boss room. Come on! Ugh. Okay, we've got one hour left about. <laughs> uh, there isn't too much more that we can upgrade. Uh, actually, let me charge, swap out one thing. That is... Juice Addict for Enhanced Formula. So we have four more health, no, three more health that we can get out of these. Uh, not sure if this one would be too useful since we need, he does get close a lot. So, hmm. And that will get much out of that. So, yeah, let's do that then. Yeah, one thing I can think of is if the the golems and the French one there give some kind of up, uh, additional upgrades, like could it be enough to tip the balance in this fight, or uh, the, that just the, really easy to move around? The core weapons, that would be the, the biggest change probably. Yeah, for... but those are those we have found all over the place, not from quests and such. So I very much doubt. Not impossible though. Not impossible, but still very unlikely. Just need to bear. Okay, he should start running in a bit. There we go. Way. I think we have found some of them near boss fights as such. I don't think not so. Boss, I'm not saying that any bosses drop them, but if we fight the bosses, maybe access to area that has them. I'm pretty sure we haven't found. Yeah, that's from getting the, uh, more stuff to maneuver with. There. Yeah, I really wasted if one. I'm gonna keep playing at this. I will not be against us trying to unlock these special weapons. Really, that should not have counted.
right there. There. It's gonna run soon. It looks so bloody hit like a crab. There we go, that should send him running. Yes, uh, uh, almost. Oh, that got close there. There we go. Take this moment to heal. Okay. There. There we go. Almost took more damage than needed there. 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 Okay, another ten percent. About. And I stupidly walked into the him there. Oop. Ow. There. Okay, not a single hit this time. There. Okay, now that we know about that rolling attack, we can also counter it. One, two, three, four, yep. How are we how are we supposed to dodge that? Getting close to him or something? That's all of our ammo. Yeah. Okay, sometimes you'll try to fake us out a bit. One, two, three, four. Okay, he stops that before he hits himself. Ooh, that looks close. Ooh, almost. Okay, yeah, sometimes when he's close to the walls, he will do that instead of charge. Okay. That one's actually very easy to dodge. Okay, are you going to run one more time? Yep. Timing. Yep. Okay, Jefferson. Or... Or not. Yep. Uh... Yep. There. 
There. Three birds. Really up there. Get back here, you pink frosted asshole. Oh, come on. He's up to something, but that gives me a moment to heal. Okay, just barraging. Okay. It does make it really. It does make him a sitting duck. Yep. Ow. Okay, we've got enough life to last through this. Don't jinx it. Oh, trying to fake out. I missed that. There we go. And it, then the battery recharges. Okay. The feet freed, kicking and screaming. Defeated. Me? I didn't plan for this. I don't even have a speech ready. Dr. Creed, stay down. We're taking you in. You cannot detain me. My genius can't be detained. You're all out of tricks. It's over, genius. A lot of tricks, you say? And I guess it's time for me to go out with the bang! Well, you asked for it. <laughs> and that's what we call having a blast. <laughs> Later this day, back in the village. Epilogue. Complete the adventure with everyone around the campfire. <laughs> okay, that was a tough fight, but I've already won. It wasn't too... It wasn't... It wasn't filled with dirty tricks like it could have been. Yeah, like Mr. <laughs> Jefferson! Really like on behalf of War Incorporated, I'd like to congratulate you on derailing a worthy attempt at world domination. Go ahead. I want to say is, it was... You know, we were a bit easier than the other bosses we have fought so far. Yeah. Only by a <clears> bit. <throat> Worthy attempt at world domination? Please, Mr. Jefferson, Dr. Creed was first and foremost a client, albeit a duplicitous one. It's company policy to show our clients in the best light. But if I weren't representing War Incorporated right now, you might hear me say that I'm totally thrilled you took Creed to the cleaners. <laughs> you keep towing that line, Mr. Good. Hey, have a drink with me. Apologies, but I'm on the clock. You know, I haven't seen you drink anything, or sleep, or... Are you even human, Good? <laughs> hey, take it sleazy Mondays, am I right? Yeah, it's not answering. Hey, old man. Damn, I was finally in a good mood, and here you are. You say that, but everybody knows you love me. Just admit it. I'd rather suffocate to death. I'll be glad to be rid of you. 
You don't mean that. We make a great team. Jefferson, you're an imbecile. I'm a hair away from retirement. What? You think I'd rather stick around so I can get shot at and argue with you? Well, what else are you gonna do with your time? Take up woodworking? Yeah, right. <laughs> that ain't you. Ah, come on, old man. We won. Let's just enjoy the party. <laughs> uh, to be honest, uh, types like him typically don't really retire. They just move further away from the front line. <clears throat> Arara? Jefferson, after you wrecked the Citadel, I was able to get a message back to HQ. Did you tell them it was mission accomplished? Better believe it. Blast is sending reinforcements to help around here. And they're sending extraction for you, me, and Ayarmus. We're getting out of here. And I made sure HQ knew just how pivotal you were in Creed's defeat. I bet they... No, yeah, they were not expecting that at all. <laughs> to be honest, you and the armors haven't really done too much uh, <laughs> to actively well, beat him back and such. But still, support is support, and support is always needed. Ho ho ho! Gold star for the golden boy! So, we're really going home. Yeah, too bad we can't take the brigade with us. I really become fond of them. Tell me about it. Well, we still have tonight to party. Better make it count. Right. So, where is Galahad? He's right over there. Just as he looks over. <laughs> that was just accidental timing, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Vortex? Well, kid, you've got your island back. Courtesy of Blast. Who am I kidding? You could have kicked Creed's teeth in all on your own. Happy I am, but many more teeth are in need of kicking in. Creed's henchmen still fester across the island, running about like headless chickens. But for the first time, I truly feel like the Holy Sentinel. I will lead my people and purge our island of those that remain. Well, you don't gotta do it all by yourself. I'm sure Blast is happy to lend you a hand. I mean, I know I mostly do cool stuff like blow crap up, but Blast has got a ton of boring people. I'm sure we can let you have a few. Don't sell yourself short. There's more to you than destruction. Huh. Nice of you to say so, kid. I don't hear that a lot. Yeah, your, your, ass, your ass makes for a good uh, <laughs> landing softener. Any help we might accept would be on our terms. You do understand that? What happened here cannot happen again. Yeah, uh, that's way above my pay grade. But I hear you. Anyway, enjoy the party, kid. If anyone earned it, you did. <laughs> Gala swag! We made it! Hey, Creed paid for his crimes, and we rid the world of a dangerous maniac. It's a good day. What's the bug doing here? So, you heading back to old Blighty now, or what? Sorry, I cannot discuss that. Top secret. Gotcha. Yeah, me too. I got, uh, all sorts of classified stuff. Yeah, whatever. But I'll see you around, huh? Count on it. Thank you for everything, Jeff. I will not forget what you did for me, my friend. Aw. <laughs> Wasn't nothing, big guy. <laughs> hey, big dummy. Hey, little dummy. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Except, you ain't no dummy, are you? Got me working for you while you sat in your bush safe and sound. You get lots of time to think when you're in a bush. And it's a very nice bush. Perfect for staying out of the way when violent outsiders armed to the teeth start destroying your entire world. He's got a point. Yeah, Creed sure did a number on you folks. And now he's gone. But you and your people are still here. Hey, we're just trying to help you out. Oh, of course, of course. Well, uh, enjoy the party, huh? You too. Uku's still paranoid. Damn it. 
Well read, that's a job well done in my book. Yes, exceptional work, Jefferson. Oh, what a crazy road it's been. All starting from me defeating you in the jungle. <laughs> if my weapon had not malfunctioned, the outcome would have... That time when you rescued me from Creed's dungeon. That was a coincidence. I had no intention of helping. Can't forget when I saved you from that big gooey beast in the toxic ducts. <laughs> Is that how you remember it? To everything that came next. Battling savage cyborgs, ancient stone robots and carnivorous flowers. Discovering the ruins of a bygone civilization. Finally, defeating a crazy evil scientist together. What an adventure! I guess now that it's all over, we're no longer playing for the same team. Our duty comes before whatever this has become. <sighs> well, it's been real. The next time we meet Jefferson, it will be as enemies. So, let's never meet again. Agreed. Unless we could call a truce, or... Jeff, you should get out of this business. You're not built for the intrigue. Hello, Marco. Uh, yes, you can't kill Agent Buzz, but I can definitely attempt. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, hello, Marco. Oh, hello. Privet, when? Okay, is that supposed to mean something? Friday Privet, hiding around? Or... Okay, can't leave the area. Okay. <laughs> Looks like Creed's blasting off again. <laughs> Excuse me, please, if I may have your attention. Dr. Creed was a blight on our people. We all know this. His greed and insanity cost us dearly. What we have lost is lost forever. And yet, we are not a broken people. Our lands are still ours. Our people still have a future. We control our own destiny. As bitter as these lessons have been, we have learned a great deal, and we won't forget. And for all our losses, we have also gained much. We have made new friends and allies. Give me a second. It's the freaking third one. What we have accomplished here together has been life changing. This is a night of celebration, not just of our victory, not just of our glory, but of the future of our people. Please, my people, my friends, eat, drink, and let your joy flow. Let tonight become the beautiful memory it deserves to be, so we never forget. Well, Vortex is already good at making speeches. Right on! Let's get crazy! Oh no. Why do we get the feeling that Jeff's going to end up drunk and naked in the sea? I think I know where she went. Uh... Really?
Well, there we have a hook for the sequel, don't we? I, I hope there will be a sequel, but otherwise, bloody heck! Yeah, that's a backstab and a half. Let's see, Javenson Griffith, Zuri Washington, Aiden Rhodes, Amanda Turing, Wai Chan, Sarah Ra, Wayne Grayson, how do you get to the top? Okay. Uh, okay, that sours things a little bit, but... Yeah, still a, re still a really good game, even if it did annoy the piss out of me at parts here and there. Yeah, it'll be... Yeah. Let's be honest, you have had games that pissed you off way more. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, whilst this is rolling, let me do a little bit of a search. Uh, when did this game come out again? Uh, da -da -da. Steam, there. It, it, it looks like the... All of them is... I, I can mistake in it, but I've... I see a lot of Slavic names here, so... That will explain why you saw a lot of uh, special writing on Steam. <laughs> okay, Blast Brigade. Come on, load in. There we go. Okay, released in April of 2022. Okay. And this is the only game by Elot's Team Arcade, I believe. Yeah, at the moment, this is their first and only game. Let me actually look them up on Wikipedia. Okay, so Blast... Brigades. Yeah, not Blast Bridge. There. Yep. Arcade game. Uh, maybe a bit arcade style, but it's definitely not an arcade game. Let's see. And um, right, it's the Nope Wikipedia page for these. Okay, let me just. Oh, the accidentally. Excellent. It auto filled the Blast Brigade switch. Uh, let's see. Wikipedia. Come on. There. Uh, PC gaming. Okay, apparently there was a Blast Brigade before this. A multiplayer first person shooter for, oh, for mobile. It makes sense that that doesn't show up, of course. Uh, come on, I want a Wikipedia game page on this game, if there even is one. Because, yeah, I do look forward to whatever else the, these guys make. Uh, versus the usual region, just narrow it down as tightly as can be. We already done with the credits. <laughs> that was quick. Typically that takes like... 20 minutes to half an hour these days. Well, huh. well it's an indie game, Captain. True. Uh, they are usually shorter. Is there really no Wikipedia page on this? Let's see. Never down a bit more. Just put in Wikipedia. No, this game does not have a Wikipedia page, it seems. Okay. Hmm. But they are probably a very fresh new studio and all. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, making a game like this typically takes like a year or two, so by now they'd probably be like four years of existence. And yeah, we just restart from here. Yeah, and it may it may take a while for them uh, for his vein. This is uh, this is kind of gamble of them to doing that as sequel baiting there, since hmm. it all depends on how much. Uh, Monday they got back in plus. Yeah, how much profit they made off this game. Yeah, let's see, 91%. Uh, the third this game has become one of my favorites and I love it. Yeah. <laughs> it is a good game, yeah. And I really hope that they do manage to make a sequel. Or at least that they manage to survive and to make more games. And I only just noticed now that there's a bunch of numbering over there. It must be... It's not the version number. Hmm. Must be something else. Uh, but yeah, we have half an hour left, but I doubt that is. I doubt that's enough to get started on the next game, RoboCop Rogue City. <laughs> yeah, originally we were to do Digimon Cyber Sleuth, but uh, yeah, I had to rewrite him that he changed that to RoboCop instead. 
Yeah, I, I probably should try to make a bit more uh, set, just progression of what I will do after each one, and do it less on the fly. But yeah, we'll be busy. We'll probably be busy with Robocop for a decent amount of time. And yeah, if not, we have Gla <laughs> not Glassgate. We have Cyber Sleuth after that, which will definitely take up a lot of time. Yeah, that <laughs> may be we need to do uh, the story within three, four hours. But also, uh, is one of is there, the captain will need to do grinding between the streams. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. But yeah, with a... <laughs> with a... I wouldn't call it a betrayal. Like, it's probably that... It's probably not that sure I wanted to do that. But, yeah, orders are orders on that. And yes, of course, Jeff would probably just shout at her, like, fuck the orders then, if they're not the right thing to do. Because, uh, yeah, Vortex, and <laughs> at the very least, Vortex and Jeff are going to go after her for that. And I'm pretty sure that Galahad here will feel all her, on her bounds to get uh, back at her as well. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Bloody hey. But yeah, it's, it's not really like the Islanders need the core, but still, just to, to run off with it like that, <laughs> dick move. Yeah, but... and he knew what happens when you abuse it. Yeah. Uh, let's see, Marco, I like Robocop, Rogue City, it is a pretty uh, good game, but you, you, the, way you, yeah, you, the way you type that is more like Rouge City. Like Rouge the Bat, not the Rogue the Bat, as some people say. Accidentally. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. We'll see about Robocop next week. Tomorrow, Minecraft with the server fair. If, uh, the, others, uh, can, if the others can show up as well. Uh, unless I... Mm, there's still time for them to do stuff for it. Like, I know that... Uh, <clears throat> Shaskor has some stuff set up, and since I at least tried to build some stuff, but uh, I'll check if they're online to maybe get, push them to get some stuff set up as well. Uh, Grammar and I do not have a good relationship, Marco. I'm pretty sure Grammar does not have a good relationship with most people. Yeah, uh, actually, <laughs> an idea. If, uh, if uh, Minecraft doesn't work out to do tomorrow, for whatever reason... Yeah. We could do more single-player Minecraft, or we could start on Rogue City tomorrow. Maybe, Depending. yeah. It depends what happens tomorrow. Yeah. But for now, let's uh, go look for someone to raid before we end the stream. So let's take a look. It's in a book, something something reading rainbow. Let me change over the screen share so Drakir can also see. There and there. Okay, we have Pizza, who is streaming Red Dead Redemption 2. Okay. Uh, Moonrise is playing Minecraft. Modded Minecraft on a server, it seems. Sao Walrus is playing Elden Ring. Isaiah Rozier is playing a game called Haven. Let's see, an RPG about love. Double-checking that everything is muted. Yes. Let's take a look here. Uh, Karenai is oh! playing Tabletop Simulator. I recognize this, this game. Okay, it looks a bit like Journey, but more graphical, or graphically intensive. Okay. Hmm. Looks completely new to me, I must say. Yeah, it, here's the thing, as far as I'm aware, it's kind of unique. Like, you, you know, you should play a character that you find love, you get a friend? Yeah. This one is not that. This one, you start out with the girlfriend as your partner right away. Okay. Uh, Karenai is playing Tabletop Simulator. Next up we have Kanai with Once Human, which is apparently a new free-to-play open-world uh, shooter. Though I have heard questionable things about it, like it's wanting a lot of info from you. Uh, WBPL is playing Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And I'm Nice is playing Final Fantasy XIV. And last we have Horatius the Dwarf. Who is having a special event? Let's see, Horatius Happy Hour. Not sure exactly what's meant with that, but let's take a peek. 
you know what a happy hour is, right? Yes, but though that does, I'm not going. I'm going to guess that they aren't just getting drunk on stream for no reason. <clears throat> yeah, some streamers do that, and I don't get why. Yeah, because it gets them views, and does money, and well, you can guess from there. Okay. Uh, any of these you would suggest, or shall I take a pick? Hmm. I was in Haven. Okay. And I, I just noticed that someone among the recommended is streaming Dead Stranding. Which I... Hmm. Dead Stranding is a long game. And a very confusing game at parts. But it is also a pretty good game. So I definitely would be up for streaming that on Saturdays as well at some point. Without me. <laughs> okay. For... Uh, here's the thing. I... Okay, we have better stream uh, time now, since it was definitely a bad to stream if we only did two hours. Yeah. Since, yeah, the cutscenes can be long and you never know where you hit them, and they have apparently a lot of them. Yep, I have played it, it was... through to the end of the story. And yeah, it, and, uh, it does go long. Yeah, and uh, you can see why it will not work well with a two hour stream. Now, sure, it will be easier, but you still will need to be careful about the cutscenes. Yeah. And Though, since I've I already still... played through it, I would have a better feel of how long it would still be with certain things. Yeah. For me, I just... Besides the cutscenes being as long, and conf... I, I, I did not feel the, for it. It just felt way too confusing for me to be interested. Yeah, but that's kind of the thing with it. That's, it does throw you a bit into the deep end of it. Uh, but as it isn't, it, it is not like it needs 20 hours for you to finally get what the fuck is going on with everything. It could have used more explanation in the start, but it, things do become clearer as you go. But yeah, if you want to sit those out, uh, I'm not going to force you. <clears throat> All right. Okay. That's good to hear. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> For now, though, slash raid and paste. Uh, but before we <laughs> before we send that off, thank you everyone who's raid. Thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. I almost said raiding later. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Marco. Thank you, Pizza. Uh, thank you. Uh, let's see. Where? We yeah, Cameron. Thank you for showing up as well. And uh, let's see, I'm seeing a few names in chat, but I think some of those are from the bots that just fuck, uh, that I, that that's refused to fuck off or something. Uh, let's see, Numzy, yeah. Why are those still showing in the chat here? They should be banned, so they should have been kicked. Uh, oh, well, those should probably, you know, get lost after the stream ends anyway. And they don't, because to my knowledge, bots can't really... Or typically can't really raid along. But yeah. And apparently 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 just dinner call. Okay, so perfect timing then. So let's get that raid started. And yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe everyone and have a lovely Saturday. And watch yeah, out and, for seals. Uh yeah, watch out for even evil scientists obsessed with donuts. Thank <laughs> you.